Well, what the heck, everybody? I'm watching deer meat for dinner. My name is Robert Arrington, and today we're in my hometown, Jupiter, Florida. Me and my, my buddy John McRoberts, we're heading out offshore. We're gonna try to catch some lobsters, spear some lionfish, and catch a mutton snapper. It's a beautiful day, and I'm stoked you're hanging out with us. We just made it out here. Wind's blowing out of the north pretty good, but uh, it's not too rough yet. They're calling for big seas tomorrow, which means I'll be editing. So I'm gonna get ready, load my tank up, head down.
exactly what we came for. Lobster and lionfish. Johnny, take this bag. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, so check this out, y'all. We're out here, me and John, having a blast. See my camera? Right at the last minute it went dead. I was down, there were lionfish basically everywhere, but not like schools of them, just one and two. Look at this, that is a bag full of goodness. Sorry about the noise, I know it's crazy, I know it's loud. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Holy mackerel. Look at the size of that bug. Oh, he's molting. Look at that, see how he's limp right here? See that? That means he's molting inside. The lobster shell is called an exoskeleton, which means he doesn't have bones on the inside, he has a skeleton on the outside, an exoskeleton. And as he fills up with meat, once he becomes too full, he'll shed his exoskeleton, and that is what's growing on the inside. As he molts, he'll become soft, like a soft shell crab, and then he will harden up. Incredible. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Guess what? Mama is gonna be happy! All right, you guys, we just got back, got the boat cleaned up, and one of the gentlemen next door is actually a fan of the channel. Come here. This is my new bro. This Roberto. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon? Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. All right, so we just came in, got the boat cleaned up, and Roberto was like, do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> like, yeah, of course. So we had a great day today. Just a couple nice lobsters to take home for your wife. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. When was the last time you was at work and someone rolled up with some fresh <laughs> lobster? I don't know, never. No? Never, man. Appreciate it. Man. Cool. Thanks. Brennan, you have a wife? No, uh, I'm single. You're eating fresh lobster tonight also. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah? Thanks. That's what it's all about, you guys. I say this to everybody. I, I, I've been thinking about when to, to say this. I, I can't thank y'all enough for the fan mail. People send us all kinds of amazing stuff. And I will do another video and show you the cool stuff that we've got. But in lieu of sending us fan mail, I would ask that all y'all just pay it forward. When you're in a restaurant or in a gas station or somewhere, just pay it forward, do something for somebody because we're already so blessed. I mean, we have so much that we, more than we can even express, we're so thankful for all of y'all. So instead of sitting, I mean, we love the comments and the messages and we love it all. But instead of going out and buying us something, which so many of you have, just pay it forward to somebody who would not expect it and would otherwise not get it. Whether it's at a gas station or a restaurant or just hanging out. It will bless you more than it blesses them. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, you take her Thank you, Nick. and I'm gonna get to work. Oh, look at the, the pouty lip, the pouty lip. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I wanna be with dad. These lobster heads, I'm gonna save. Just come in here. Make sure you do this over the sink. Please. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Put hey. that in there. Whatever you do with those spines, you gotta take out the garbage right away so it doesn't get hold of them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Cut this right here. That will. Here's your your vein. The vein will come right out, just like that. Now this is going to be a new way. You've never seen me cook lobster like this on the channel, but it's really good. And I'm excited because I'm getting to cook Sarah and the girls a nice meal. I didn't go directly down the center there, but close enough. Once you get down here at the bottom, snip that out and then snip this out just like that and then that will break. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just one second. 
See how you got that little opening? Then take your fingers. The lobster has to be cold to do this. If he's warm, it won't work real well. That meat will pop right out and it will sit on top of its own shell. That is the vein that I was unable to get. Now I got it. I'm going gourmet, y'all. The meat wants to fall off the side, so I'll just take a toothpick, and I'll take a couple toothpicks, and I'll stick it just like that. And that will help the meat stay right up on top. So let's go with a little bit of Lowry's garlic salt. We're gonna go very easy on the seasoning. Make sure your tails are fanned out. Alrighty, and there's our gigantic lionfish. Now I will show you, they have spines on the tip of their pectoralis fins. They have spines right there. I don't know the name of that fin. They have a fin, a spine on their anal fin. And then the majority of their big spines are on their dorsal. Now, that's where they get you is with their spines. So you just gotta be careful, simply put. Take your knife. This is my old trusty woods and water. I've cleaned a million animals and fish with it. And this fish will actually fillet out a lot like a bass or a grouper. Just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful meat. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Beautiful filet. Lay them flat. Now, lionfish are very slow moving. They just like hang out. They're very uh, territorial. They hang out in the same spot every single day, pretty much. And so their meat becomes extremely, extremely tender. All right, so let's get to cracking. Here's our fish. We don't need to cut it into tiny pieces, just, you know, nice, small morsels. Let's put that right there. That is a lemon off my mom's tree and that worked. That's a, <laughs> those are so good. You can buy these at Publix. Uh, that's a Meyer lemon. They kind of look like a tangerine or something, but they have the most wonderful aroma and flavor. Oh, I just thought of something. Check this out, y'all. Everyone was telling me in that last video, put your lemons in the microwave for 15 seconds. You said this works, so we're gonna see how it works. Let's get some zest. Not a ton of zest, but zest is just so lovely. I love it. Now I suggest using a little strainer. Wow, that, that does seem to juice very easy. They seem nice and soft. And because mom brought me her lemon, I'm gonna put a little lemon in there also. It's nice when you're making a ceviche. You like that? I had a little, a little Latin ceviche, you know, ceviche in my voice. Man, this thing is just chock full of juice. Man. Okay, and then you're gonna want some kosher salt. I like to get my meat, my fish, marinating in the citrus as fast as possible. Now that's going to work. 
Fantastic. So we have sweet uh, baby bell peppers. That's a little white onion or a yellow onion. And this is some cilantro. I'm just throw it all right in there. Just like that. Now, watch this. This will just... That, everybody, is a fresh, healthy, 100% organic, wild-caught ceviche. Now we're gonna make a cucumber salad. We've got a cucumber, a variety of baby tomatoes, basil, and avocado. And there you have it. This is just nice, fresh, wholesome, goodness. And then last but not least, this is a balsamic reduction. And we'll just marry them together. All right, let's start making the magic happen. I have the oven set at 350 degrees. We're gonna let that start cooking. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take this pineapple, trim it up, just like that. And if you're wondering, that knife stays sharp. I don't like keep sharpening it. This is a ridiculous knife. Look how pretty that is, y'all. That pan is super hot because I want to hear it sizzle. And then just let it sit there. Oh yeah. Oh, our lobster is starting to look gorgioso. Which means it's time for the final touch. I want to add just a little citrus to our butter. Give it just a little, little tang, twang. That's enough right there. Turn that down low. Let's hit these with a broil. Once it starts to broil, you can quickly burn. So you gotta be careful. So when you're baking, the whole oven is the same temperature. When you're broiling, you're putting very hot heat from the top. Look at this. Pineapple, you can just take your knife, fillet right down the side of it, just like this, out the top, and then Let's finish this, y'all. Look at them lobster tails. A little lemon butter. And we'll just drizzle it right down the middle. Get everybody a little bit of ceviche. And then we'll do some cucumber salad. Just like that. Do a piece of avocado. This morning, when we set out to go catch lobster so we could do a lobster tail 
for the ceviche with the lionfish ceviche cucumber salad. This was all an idea. Now, it's a reality. I really, really wish y'all could be here to enjoy this with us. Lord, thank you so much for a great day. Thank you for letting us go out safe and sound, come back with unbelievable fresh seafood. Lord, thank you for my family. Thank you for our strength and our health. Please forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, y'all. That looks so good. <laughs> so good, y'all. So good. We, we need to set the counter right now, the so good counter. Just set it. Somebody is in charge. Set the so good counter. What does that mean? How many times people say so good? Yeah. I've said it about like 10 times already. So count that. Look at that. I mean, oh my gosh. Mm. It's so good. Is that butter for it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that butter is really good. And then the cucumber salad. I can hear it crunching. So fresh. So delicioso. I need a shirt that says that. Del delicioso. Mm. And then. Your, oh, that's really good. There's your your pineapple. When you grill it, it just becomes even sweeter. This is really good. God bless you. God bless you. And then the ceviche. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. I can tell you're hungry because you were shaking. So hungry. He doesn't shake unless he's hungry. We're going to devour the rest of this. And then I'm going to go edit because... Mm. Oh, it's six o'clock. I guess, I guess I, I guess I'm just gonna hang out with the family now. I'll edit tomorrow morning. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. The ocean is a wonderful, wonderful place, and I'm so happy that you guys are able to hang out with us and see these really cool adventures followed by amazing dinners. We love y'all, mm -hmm. but this is all I got for you today. We're gone. That was so good too.